welcome to Toad TV. I am Mary Beth. I am Helen. And this bed head is coming to you. Actually, it's not bed heads. We have both showered, but this mad scientist hair is right. coming to you from Toad Hollow. I have one. It's like, if I don't do anything with it. Well, it's very fitting because we're heading into the dye studio. So right. the mad scientist vibes are just coming out the head. <laughs> um, anyway, we are the creative man. Ham, ha, we are the creative hands and minds behind Toad Hollow. And we are here for book vent day nine. Oh my God, it's December 9th already. It's December 9th already. So we are here. The milk is going bad today. We have to, all right, we're going to have to make hot chocolate and bake a cake. Yeah. There you have it, folks. The milk's going doing. bad. <laughs> we have to make hot chocolate and bake a cake. Um, which actually is very fitting because today's theme for book vent is cookbooks. Yes. So. Where's the tea? The tea is. Under, under your book. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, we do Tiesta Tea Calendar, the uh, Tiesta Tea Advent Calendar, and today's is Chamomile Mint. Which is also very fitting because somebody had us up at 5.58 this morning. Yeah. So there may be tea this afternoon and naps in between hot chocolate and baking cakes. But I, I like chamomile tea, and I love mint tea, obviously. So. This is, I mean, this is really perfect right. for Helen. All right, cookbooks. Mine is... Dun, dun, dun. Is that the no. No, 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 no. <laughs> the cook's book. Recipes for Keeps and Essential Techniques for Mastering Everyday Cooking by Brie McCoy. So it was on... Um... The Modern Mrs. Darcy's best cookbook. She sent out an email, the best cookbooks. Okay. Right as I was doing this. Um, and it's, uh, there are recipes in there, but then it also it's also teaching you how to cook and how to come up with your, like your own recipes. Oh, like okay. what goes well with what and that kind of thing. Okay, that's cool. That's so, very cool. I thought it sounded kind of, you know, neat, like, you know, what goes with chicken. And right. All right. Well, that, that'll be extra creamy chicken piccata. Well, there you go. I do like chicken piccata. Yeah. And this, I mean, here's like a whole series of uh, thickening sauces. And oh, okay. So it's not just recipes. It's also teaching you cooking techniques. How to deglaze the pan and right. that kind of thing. Cool. Very cool. Different kind of knives. Okay. This is very, very cool. We will have a lot of fun with this. Yes. Yeah. So this he did with his wife Felicity Blunt, and we have taste, which I'm not sure is down up here which or down there. Which is actually there. a book. We also have taste, but well, obviously. Um, but we have one of his other books as well. It's and, upstairs. We do have it. Oh, is it up here? Oh, uh, yeah, because I added it to my TBR. Okay, because I was thinking that what we should do is start going through some of his, because he has yeah. amazing recipes. Mm, K's tart 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 tatan. Tart, tart. Amazing how I immediately go to dessert. Blueberry pie. What is that? Is that part of the tart tartan? That is beautiful. Blondies. Mavis' favorite carrot cake. Carrot cake say that. is not like, a cake. It's not cake. Joanna's chocolate refrigerator cake. That sounds yummy. One pound of milk chocolate digestive biscuits. Okay, we're gonna have to I'm find the uh, suitable. <laughs> we're gonna need to find the suitable uh, um, equivalent over yeah. here. We've always wanted to do Yorkshire pudding. Well, if we do a roast for Christmas, we could do Yorkshire pudding. Yeah. And it's two cups of flour, four eggs, salt, milk, and vegetable oil. And how long do they cook? They they cook what? For 15 minutes? Preheat the oven. Check at the 15 minute mark and cook for another five yeah. minutes if yeah. they're not a golden brown. So, I mean, we could do that just before you sit down. And you actually, get it really hot. Yeah. Because the whole thing is you get the oil really hot and then you pour it in. And um, these are English veggies, English veggies, English 
recipes, then our stove is going to work perfectly. It should, yeah. English roast potatoes. Roasted cauliflower steaks. I mean, we could try it. Um, we could try it. Vegetable parm. Again, try new things. Don't right. jump right out and say no. Polenta has never sent me, but maybe we just haven't done it right. I saw somebody on, there's a uh, sauteed mushrooms. I saw somebody on TikTok. He was doing a mushroom. It's the English dude who cooks in his greenhouse. Garden. Yeah. He was making um, a mushroom soup. And what he did was he uh, blended it all together. Well, that's what I figured we would do. So that it was just like a creamy, it right. was just like, almost like a paste, which sounds disgusting. But I like the taste of mushrooms. The consistency. I don't of like the consistency of them. Yeah, is just a, an issue with me. But it, it was just it looks so good. Right. No, he I love the taste of them. Bread into it. I'm like, you get a good bread, and you just. Oh, dip. Yeah. And I mean, we get the wild grains, so that would be perfect. You yeah. just cook up some of those, and uh, you dip the the thing in, and um, the mother might like it too. Yeah, if you can tell her what it is. Fried green it. tomatoes. I've always wanted to try those. Grilled spring onions. Yeah. Mashed potatoes. Where did they put potatoes? Surprisingly, olive oil, pepper, butter, and an egg yolk. Okay. All right. Asparagus with lemon butter. <gasps> oh yes. We have asparagus. We have lemon. We have, we butter. have butter. We could do that. Yeah. Dinner tonight. Chicken wings with homemade barbecue sauce. Roast chicken. I think Joan may be his mother. Oh, okay. Oh, that's not going to work. He does have a thing for rabbit. Anything rabbit or lamb is yeah. not going to work. Venison's not going to work. But could you do that with pork instead? Probably. Well, venison, I think it probably would be more of a beef, but yeah. Okay. Shepherd's pie. There's no meat. You don't eat meat. Oh, uh, ground lamb. We could just put in ground beef. Yeah. Lamb chops. No. Baked ham with mustardo de fruta. Okay. Carbonade de boeuf. God, so good. Basic risotto. Gnocchi with sage butter. Always good. I saw gnocchi at um, Trader Joe's. I ne nearly got it. Pasta al forno. It's a lot of anchovies. You know what? I think if you put the anchovies in and you do it properly, they melt into the background and... Well, they are a key component of a Caesar dressing. Right. Um, so that you, I if just you do it... need to know that they're there. Right. Also, 16 of them may be a little bit much. Yeah. Grilled cheese with pesto and prosciutto. That would be so good. That would be so good. It's two to four slices of melting cheese, such as mozzarella, soft pecorino, or goat cheese. Prosciutto, Italian bread, and pesto. Yeah. I mean, really. Honestly, it's kind of hard to go wrong with that. Calamari. Stuffed grape leaves? Grape leaves, yeah. Risotto Tony Shalhoub stuffed grape leaves. Oh, okay. Risotto cakes. What is that? What is this? Oh, sausage roll. The English sausage roll. That looks yummy. That really does. Then they don't make you make the puff pastry. No, you just uh, buy it. Frittata? I was just saying you should make another frittata. Yeah. We have spring onions we could put in it. We person. also have uh, sausage we could put in it. He just, just eggs, parsley, parm, black pepper. Zucchini ribbon salad. I was thinking, you know, would I be better with zucchini if it was in ribbons and I didn't have to eat the middle of it? Yeah, I like zucchini. Ever colvera. With, with shallots, shallots and, and cherry tomatoes. tomatoes. I mean, yeah, that would be good. That would be a good set. Christmas Yeah. 
Roasted potato salad? Yes. She'd eat that too. Cannellini bean and tuna salad with red onion. I often think I should try beans, but again. It could be something that we try. Yeah. And if we don't like it, we don't like it. Quinoa salad with feta, pomegranate, and pistachio. I happen to know we have a bag of quinoa in the pantry. Right, because we were going to do something yeah. with it, and we never did. So now all we have to do is get feta, pomegranate, and pista well, pistachios we, we have. have. Yeah. Cucumber salad, celery salad. Why? I don't know. Cucumbers are like, it's just like celeries are... Well, cu cucumber and tomato salad is even better, but I'm sorry, cucumbers by themselves, it's just water. Why don't you just drink a glass of water? Yeah, and celery is just water and strings to get stuck in your teeth. Right. So, bistro green salad with simple vinaigrette. That might be good. Potato and leek that soup with fried parsley. Would be so good. We should try that. Because we could do that easily. Yeah. And now's the time. You know, it's it's like, it's the perfect time cool, for yeah. soup. Sunchoke soup with crispy speck charge, shards. What's a speck? Um, is it kind of like um, meat? It's, it's oh, some it's kind of meat. Three slices of speck or prosciutto. Um, it's, um, why do I feel like it's kind of like, I was thinking spam, which is not right because it wouldn't be a slice. Chicken noodle soup. Pea and ham hock soup. They used to do that. My mother used to make mm -hmm. that after she had ham, hated having ham because it meant we had to have pea soup afterwards. Tuscan tomato soup. Okay. San Marzano tomatoes, olive oil, onion, shallot, garlic, basil, chicken stock, don't tell her. Kosher salt and pepper. Speck commonly refers to the subcutaneous subcutaneous fat on a brisket or beef. It will be fun to go through and make things. Well, I think it's going to be in very there, yeah. interesting to read it as well and read the background parts. Yeah. Um, I really want to go through taste his other book and do that one as well because this put, is our kind of mood yeah. you know this is the kind of stuff we like other than seared scallops with pea puree there's nothing good in that sentence so i think it'll be fun i think so too and um it'll give us things to make and do um so it will be it will be a fun play a fun thing to you know play around with Sticky honey chicken. This is from our best book now. Flavor layering. We will learn to layer our, our flavors here. I saw the whole thing on umami at the beginning, so. I know they throw that word around on the Food Network a lot. Lemony chicken and, and potato soup. soup. That mm. sounds good. That sounds really good. Loaded baked potato soup. I bet I never got into ramen noodles. Maybe you Lots and lots of stuff with ramen. The bubbly guide. So, here we go. Cookbooks. I have the cook's book. And Helen has the Tucci table. And we are going to... We'll get back to you and let you know how the recipes are. Right. And how they turn out. Okay. We hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the day. Go forth and create. And we will see you tomorrow with our next book. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Bye. Bye.